And welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Sun Hill. Uh, I'm the Black Shadow. And we are in the midst of um, grabbing hold of uh, all these pieces to assume we get inside the the, uh, the clock tower here. Um, we've just um, got a hold of the gold plate, so um, the statue of the hand. And it is now time to deal with one of the more infamous puzzles of of this game, folks. A puzzle which I, for one, struggled with a lot. And I'm pretty sure I was not the only one who struggled with it, folks. Um, actually, I'm going to do this uh, straight away here, folks. I was going to look around a bit, but I'm not actually going to. Let's let's just get cracking on with this, folks, because, um, you know, maybe some of you will be watching this, um, you know, curious about just uh, this puzzle, for God's sakes. Yes, I am playing this on hard, if you haven't um, been following. Um, but anyways, folks, um, so yeah, so it is now time for the... Uh, this little puzzle in here. And to do this puzzle, we need to head inside the music room, which is this one. Yes, it is. This is an infamous puzzle. This is a very infamous puzzle, this. Uh, so let's have a look what we got here. We got a piano here. Uh, there's, there's some blood on some of the keys. Does this mean anything? Well, I don't know. Oh, uh, we'll check the piano. Now you see, there's only a few keys here that you can actually press. Um, that sound is skipping slightly, which is kind of annoying. But you'll notice if you click all these, some of these play, and that's actually kind of annoying. The sound skipping there. And you'll notice, you no, know, you hear some that these do play. The important thing to remember, folks, is remember the ones that don't actually make a sound. And you'll see why here. So if we now go um to this little board here, it's written in blood. A tale of birds without a voice. First through the greedy pelican, eager for a reward. Oh, I'm not gonna say all this. You can read it, folks. Um, yeah, we got a pelican. Uh, we got a what's it? A dove. Um, uh, flying sort of pelican. I got a raven flying higher than a dove. A uh, swin next to another bird. A crow. Uh, stopping. Who will show the way? Who will be the key? Who will lead to this silver reward? Now, I'm gonna be honest, folks. When I used to play this game, this puzzle baffled me, and this was one of two puzzles in this game where, when I very first time I played this, I had to look up the solution because I couldn't figure it out. I feel slightly ashamed admitting that right now, but I'm being honest. I I got baffled, and you can see above. You can see the um, you can see the uh, plate up there, folks. Um, yeah, you can see up there. So now, not only am I going to show you what the actual solution to this puzzle is, I'm actually going to go ahead and actually explain this puzzle, folks. Um, in all honesty, folks. So first thing to note here is the title: "A Tale of Birds Without a Voice." Now, just that on its own, that is talking about this piano. Now, you remember how some of the keys didn't work? The solution of the keys you actually need here are the keys that don't make a sound. Um, and you have to make use of that. Um, you know, that's what it means about, uh, you know, birds without sound. So, if we go back onto the piano here. Um, this get interesting. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, so, yeah, we'll check the piano, right. Now, I don't actually have a copy, oh, but I don't actually have a copy of, um, oh, actually, I don't know how to do this. I don't actually have a copy of the poem next week, though I do have, like, uh, notes about how to solution. Now, you remember that there are five keys here that don't work. That is that one. Not that one. Right, so it's this, these two keys here don't work, as well as this one, this one, and this one. Two black keys, three white keys. Remember, those are the f five that don't work, okay? Now, if we go back to here, you will uh, you'll notice here. So let's actually, let's actually talk about the actual um, the actual poem itself. So, first flew the greedy pelican, eager for the reward, white wings flay fa flailing. Um, and you'll see here, you know, so pelican is a white bird. Um, now, Admittedly, it's actually a bit hard to actually, you know, to an extent, actually say where that bird actually goes. Um, though I'm actually going to tell you that actually goes to that first left key, and I suppose it says first flew. 
I suppose, indicates that it goes to the first left key from left to right I'm talking about here, folks, um, I think. Um, then came a silent dove, uh, another clue that you're talking about um, uh, the silent keys. And it says, they're flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. Um, so he's the um, the last um, of the white keys, the one on the right there, is where that one lands. Uh, then you've got a raven flies in, which of course, being a blackbird, is a raven. Um, it flies higher than the dove, and that means that it's um, that that's it's talking about the key that's above the dove. So it's the one um, that's like at the top right, that black key. Uh, then you've got the swan um, to find a peaceful spot next to another bird, um, and a swan is a uh, is a white one, um, and. Um, yeah, and it actually goes, and basically, there's only actually one other white key at this point, folks. Um, so, and that's the one sort of to the left of where the dove was. It's the only white key you haven't used it at this point. Um, and then finally, out comes a crow, coming quickly to a stop, yawning, and then napping, which we're talking about the first, uh, the first black key from left to right. Um, the only thing I would say about this is that you could um, get the pelican and the swan the wrong way round. That's quite easy to do, I would have said, um, but uh, that's actually sort of the explanation as to where these keys go. So if we go back to the piano here, uh, blood and song of the keys, yeah, blah, blah, blah. So the order it goes, folks, is you got the pelican, is the first left, then you got the dove, which was the one on the last right, because it went all the way. Um, then you got the raven, which is above the dove, which is this one. Then you've got the swan, which is goes on to this one, which is the only white key we got left. And then finally, you got the crow. That's a, it's um, the first black one. And voila! You got your um, uh, clock tower puzzle piece, uh, the, the silver medallion. That's the one I'm looking for. See, so yeah, folks, so that is how you um. That's how you solve this puzzle, folks. Uh, I know I, you know, I, I could have just gone here and just hot and just literally put in the actual, uh, the actual just um, order. But I figured I could take some time to actually explain why it is what it is, you know, because some of you might be wondering. So there you go. All right. So with silver medallion in hand, uh, now we need to take this back down to the uh, to the clock tower. I will explore this second floor a little bit more. And I might explore this second floor a little bit more sort of now. Yeah, I think I will actually. If I go up to the top here and I'll go um I'll go clockwise around. I don't actually remember if we can actually go in through here. As such. Not this bit, yeah, but I don't remember how far else we can go. We'll dodge these. Can we get into these? Library's locked. Oh, we can get in here though. Uh, and this leads us to the uh, Northern Passage. Oh, that library's um, not so bad. Uh-oh. You hear that, folks? That sounds pretty bad. Uh, first aid kit. And, oh, really? Is this like a... It's just an ambush, isn't it? Wonderful. Come on, out you come! It... God damn it, game! Bah! I hate it when the game does that and screws around with you. Now, I can hear something again. Is that another one? Or is this actually bad? No, that one's bad! Oh, bloody game. I'm trying to get some sort of full sense of security. Not cool. Uh, I'm sure there's actually something in this reserve, I would think it. Um, apparently not, actually. That's a bit weird. <laughs> Anyways, we'll unlock the uh, library reserve door that was locked from earlier. If we go back through here, um, we'll head down here. Yeah, I'm not falling for that trick again. Um, so where are we? Right, so we're here. Okay, so can we get in these uh, classrooms? Apparently can. Place seems pretty, pretty clear. Seems pretty clear, yeah. All right. I didn't hear then. This place does not sound so clear. 
Oh. Ah, you can't get me, can ya? Right, so I got some uh, handgun bullets, so we'll grab a hold of those. And we'll, um, come out of here. Are they on both sides, folks? I have a nasty feeling they are. But it don't matter anymore. There's a couple guys there, but we don't need to worry about them. So let's go ahead into, uh, wherever the hell we are, uh, locker room here. What is that? What the hell is in there? Oh god, it's gonna be anything. <coughs> Bloody hell. Bloody cat. Well, that didn't sound very nice. Jesus Christ. Is there any, actually anything in there? No. Nothing inside. Great. Bloody cat. I mean, what, what the hell was it doing in there? Someone like to enlighten me? Never mind. Right, well, we need to go down these... Uh, we don't have to go down these steps here, but we are anyways. So, we'll hit down here. Oh, this sounds good. This can't come going. Now, of course, we haven't been down the, in, uh, down this side yet, have we? Right, we'll unlock that door. Can we get past? Yeah, we can. Can we get in here? Yes, we can. Let's see if there's um, anything in here. Doesn't look like it. What about the other classroom? Ah, uh, there's just these little ghosts. That's okay. Right. Yeah, some hand ammo. We we'll always have that. How, how are we um doing hand ammo wise? Uh, whatever the hell it is. One twenty-three. That's not too bad. I would have said. Uh, right. So let's see. Could we can't let's see if we can't get in the hole here. Ah, locks jammed. Great. Well, that means we can't. Uh, we won't be able to get into the uh, this door here then. One door's jammed into a room. Odds are you just can't get in the room. Get off me, freak. How are we doing health wise? Not amazing, but oh well. We got plenty of health drinks for now. Right, so we've got the um, silver medallion. So let's uh, go ahead and put this in here. If God damn it! Why did why did I press this turn this flashlight off? Put it in here. That's annoying. Honestly, folks, I spent a while trying to figure out what was causing that. I couldn't figure it out. Tower door's locked. Five o'clock. When would you kindly go away? This is the music, folks. That tells you that shit is about to go down. <laughs> five o'clock it is. All right. Let's go back quickly and just see um, what it said about five o'clock. While I get ambushed. That's wonderful. Was it this one? I forget which one it was now. No, it's ten o'clock, which means it was uh, this one up here. Oh, this could get difficult. Getting out. Flames render the silence, waking the hungry beast. Open time's door to beckon the prey. Now, it is talking, folks, about the boiler room. Uh, and, and if you haven't managed to figure that one out, uh, it is talking about the boiler room. Uh, which means we got to go down. Get out of the way. I know I could afford to shoot some of these, but I don't really want to. Can we head into storage? Nope, we can't head into storage. So, into the boiler room. Hmm, all seems reasonably, reasonably sort of normal. We got uh, some valves here, which apparently we can't move. 
well, if we can't move them, best not move them. Uh, there's a light here. Just so you know, folks, this light isn't actually on until you've actually opened up the clock tower, folks. Um, well, when I say open up the clock tower, I mean put in the both medallions. Being five o'clock, this now works. Oh, it didn't do anything. But now, if it's on, you press it. Turns. Whatever the hell that is on. What is that, folks? Is that like the air conditioner or something? I, I honestly don't know. But that's now on. So we'll head up here. Oh! Piss it. That's annoying. And we'll head back into back outside to the clock tower. Doing health wise, by the way. Yeah, we're doing okay. Well, folks, it's time to head inside. Oh, this sounds good. It's getting actually kind of annoying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at this definitely at the end of this video. Does it whenever it's loading? Can you hear that, folks? Those air raid sirens again. There's no air raids going on. What the hell is that? What is it about? Keep out. Well, if ever there was, you know, a sign, I think that's about it. Keep out. I think that's trying to tell us something. But nonetheless, let's head back. Let's head up here. See where the hell this takes us. Oh, we're, wait, we're back here Where again? Am I? It's the clock tower, isn't it? The medallion, but... I guess we're have back? Have we been here before? We have, haven't you? Except there's no bushes anymore. What the frickin' what the hell is that? Hmm. I don't remember this being here before. What the hell? It's raining and... Where the hell are we? Apparently we're at the school, but... It's all... It's all been refreshed. What the frick is going on? That's the clock tower. What is up here, folks? What is up? Oh, I suppose we better head back inside and... Does that door look right to you? That... I swear that... But the door's like blue? That's like red, like metal. What the hell? Where the hell are we? This is not... This isn't the... This isn't the school. Uh-oh. We're past. I'd rather deal with these ones, actually. Die! But no, no, sit down. Well, I think we can conclude we're not at the school, but we are. Where the hell are we, folks? This is not... This is... What, what the hell? This is another bad dream and... Whoa. Okay, we're not going through that way. That's hell. Right, let's look around here anyways. Uh, we got some fir we got a first aid kit there. Pretty good. We got uh more handgun rounds. Um anything else? No, nope, that's it. So we'll head through here. You're back. Ugh.
Now we're heading to here, which is the storage. So I thought, what was this? Wasn't this door locked the last time you came here? Hmm. Well, let me let you know. Let me tell you, folks. Wherever the hell we are, rules have changed. This is not the school as such. There's a rubber ball here. I suppose is the reason we want it. I guess. But yeah, everything now has changed. Everything changes. Right, so that door is locked. Uh oh. Run past! Ah, oh, that was too narrow. I tried, but failed miserably. I apologise, folks. Whoa, he put us on red. Good grief. Hmm. Not good. Yeah, they actually, they will put up, they will hurt you quite a lot, actually. Ah, oh, bloody little things. I think we're in the hall here. I think, yeah. There ain't a lot much in here, but you need to actually take it, folks. Because um, then you can get into this door, which unlocks this one. So now we can actually, don't have to go in the hall, it's just simply just to get around, really. I suppose we'll head into the classroom, I guess. Good God. What in the hell? A lot of playing cards. That's not a playing card. That's a. That is a weird-looking card, folks. What is that about? Rectangular card key with a picture of a. No, rectangular card with a picture of a key, even. Hmm, that's weird. Well, I suppose there's uh, some point to it. That's why we picked it up. Oh God. Oh, he got me. Ow. Yeah, one thing that will change a lot between like hard and that is that when you get grabbed by things, generally they don't attack you. No, if you get like grabbed by that, that's it. But if you're like on um hard, I think things will still attack you while you're being like grabbed in that, which sucks. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna use a first aid kit here. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, other than that, not much in here actually, just other than death. So never mind. Uh, apparently, there's a gate in the way now. Apparently, uh, there's nothing else here. I don't think. Um, well, apart from the health drink. Oh, and that there's actually a fence in the way now, so you can't actually go through there as such. I'll uh, head this way then. This will take us towards the uh, entrance here. Yeah, now that I know how much damage those uh, these things do, I'm not so scared about um I'm not so scared about fighting these. I feel a lot happier because they actually do a lot more damage than I remember than I thought they did on hard. Right, so we're heading here, this is the infirmary. Still. Uh there's a notepad there which you can save, but uh, there's still a um Still a he no, still use a health drink here, and I've just realised I've gone well over twenty minutes, folks. I'm actually going to stop the video here. Um, grab that first aid kit, see so ya, yeah, folks. So um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you in the next video.